What's up guys, my name is Eric and I ran into a really funky issue today that I don't think I ever would have been able to solve if I didn't understand how Unity works on the back end and I think this would be really helpful to teach you as well as kind of highlight why this kind of knowledge is really important in game development or development in general. So I created a script or I created a, um, a full scene here, It's called a, I call it a battle scene, where I want my player to attack first and my slime to attack second, but that's not happening. They're attacking at the same time. That's bad. That's that's not realistic because the slime's attacking an empty square and the player's attacking it and no one's getting any damage. So the problem here was pretty simple, but it took me about 20 minutes to figure out. Um, let's go to my battle controller first to kind of explain what's happening here. I've set this up with nested coroutines, which is a good way to set up timed events that are going to continually go on. Um, but I basically, as soon as the battle scene starts, I kick off the battle coroutine, and that battle coroutine checks to see that the player is alive and the enemy is alive, and then it kicks off the, if that's true, it kicks off the player's attack animation. And it does that in a coroutine, basically saying, hey, wait until this coroutine is finished. So wait until the player attack coroutine is over before you continue forward. Well, the player attack coroutine, I yield return null, which means I wait for the next frame. That's what I'm doing there and then I set the animator to attack. And then right afterwards, in a while loop, I'm just checking to make sure that the attack animation is over. So if the attack animation is still going on, player animator .get current state info is name attack, you'll return null, meaning, hey, this coroutine's not over yet, don't move forward in your parent coroutine yet. What I didn't think about was how Unity works. A lot of Unity is based around frame based logic. A lot of things happen at the end of a frame or they happen during a frame and it's not going to be immediate. So even though I say player animator dot play attack, that does not mean that my player is in the attack frame or it's not in the attack mode yet. So even though as soon as this line hits, it does not mean that my player animator's current state is attack. In fact, it's probably not going to be because in a coroutine, this goes through as much as it can in a frame until the frame ends. This animator is not going to update until this frame ends. So if this coroutine happens to iterate this line and this line at the same time within the same frame, this while loop is gonna return a false for the current state of the attack and it's gonna skip over and it's gonna end this coroutine, allowing my battle controller to say, hey, yeah, the battle enemy is still alive, start the coroutine for the battle enemy to attack. Now to fix this, I didn't really need this null, this update in the beginning of the, uh, at the coroutine at all, but I put it there anyways. In order to fix this, all I need to do is I need to add a yield return null, which says, hey, end it on this frame, end this coroutine for now, come back next frame. And that what that does is says, hey, set the player animator to attack, come back next frame, and then continue the logic. Well, next frame, I'm actually in the attack animation, and I can go ahead and move forward. And here I'm actually still in the attack animation and it pauses and it waits and it waits. So now that I move my play return null, I'm gonna do the same thing in the enemy. I will properly have my character attack first, then the enemy attack second. And I think the character has five damage. Oh shit, I didn't fix it, did I? I didn't save, that's why. <laughs> Oops. Okay, now it'll properly play. I didn't save my file, that's all I did. Um, so now the player attacks first. And then this, the slime attack second, and the player attack one more time, and I think then the slime dies. And so there's no more attacks at all because my state has ended, the coroutine ended. Um, so that's kind of an overarching view of the idea of backend knowledge of Unity being helpful in programming. If I didn't understand that, uh, for example, a coroutine happens to run on a, an individual frame and animators are only gonna update at the end of the frame. And, and so even though the line of logic says you've done this, but it's not gonna happen until a couple seconds later, that kind of logic is really important. And the goal with this YouTube channel is to kind of highlight and, and teach how that backend logic works. I'm not gonna teach you how to make perfect games. I'm not gonna teach you the best game flow. Uh, but what I can teach you is the engineering behind Unity and the really core aspects that'll help you debug your code and learn a, a lot more. So. Uh, that's all I have to say. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, hopefully that was in that was informative. And uh, if you think that's really cool and really helpful, come back around next time. Consider subscribing. Otherwise, maybe I'll see you next time. Maybe I won't. Peace, peace.